I've been trying to avoid this topic, but it's like everywhere you go on YouTube, it's popping up. So, okay, fuck it. I might as well react. DDG and Riley. The stupidest shit ever. Business is business. If you're not strong enough to handle it, don't be in it. I have my opinions about what's going down. I don't really like or dislike DDG. I don't, I don't really watch his videos. But from what I see and what's going on right now, I'm not respecting what he's doing. He's being so unprofessional and he's handling things the wrong way. As for Riley, girl, a man with power knows he has it and he's gonna do whatever he can to shut you down. And that's, that's his intentions right now. And it's sad. It's unfortunate because you don't really have much. A millionaire against a nine to five employee. And they're trying to take everything from you. And it's all because he felt disrespected. It's a man's pride. It's sad. That's my opinion. Y'all don't have to agree. And I'm pretty sure a lot of DDG fans are gonna dislike my videos if they watch it. I don't really care. I have nothing to fucking lose. My income doesn't come from YouTube. I can care less what people do. But listen, we're gonna go ahead and watch the video. The Voice for the People Reacts posted two videos, actually. We're gonna watch the first one right now. It's called DDG Pissed after Riley says she was fired because he was jealous. <laughs> oh my God, here we go. Drama. Are y'all ready to watch this? Here we go. Now this was a highly requested video, but I was waiting for Riley to drop her video before I actually dropped my video because I wanted both sides. I wanted DDG's side and Riley's side. According to DDG, he revealed that Riley is no longer part of his company because he said that he doesn't work for anybody. Here's what he had to say. I'm explaining y'all. My whole business model or whatever is that I don't like to, I don't like any confrontation. I don't like any type of like, if you have an issue with me, I want to just let it go. Like, he doesn't like any confrontation, yet he bases all his videos on drama. Fake drama. It's good content for you, and this is probably why you made this video. As a CEO of Zooted, all you had to do was put out a video saying that Riley is no longer part of the team. That's it. Why even put bits and pieces? Why even put details out there? It's unnecessary. It's because you have, you have other intentions, that's why. I don't care about... Because literally, I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to say this in the most humble way. I saw this part, by the way. He says the most humble way, okay? Hear him out. Being with me ain't gonna do shit but make you more money and make you bigger. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna do nothing but make you bigger and more money faster. It took me six years to get to where I'm at. Now mind you, that is a fact. But don't think so highly of yourself because any YouTuber with a million plus subscribers is gonna have that power. If I was to collab with someone of a million subs, yes, I'm gonna gain success faster than I would have if I was by myself. But boy, calm down. That did not sound humbled at all. You even giggled about it. I have so much to offer. Which he does. It'll be, it'll be wrong for me to take any type of like confrontation from anybody. And I feel like a lot of, and I feel like a lot of people get it messed up. I'm not doing this to work for you. <laughs> I don't work for nobody. I work too hard to work for a soul. I don't work for you at all. I need you to understand that. If you watching right now, and you gonna be in Zuda eventually, I don't work for you. I want you to know that, listen to me, bro. Don't ever talk to me like I don't work for you. Point blank, period. You feel like I'm not doing enough, enough or whatever? Is the dope. Now Riley responded back to his video and according to her she's stating that things started to change when her boyfriend came into the picture because their relationship started off or their friendship started off in the club. She stated that she met DDG in the club and he tried to holler at her. She turned him down but he still wanted to remain friends and he was talking about starting up a company and having her join the company and at first she was a little skeptical but after a week and seeing the contract and the paperwork and what he was willing to do her and her brother they decided oh okay, maybe this is a good opportunity. Maybe she should sign to DDG. So she signed the contract and this is how Riley got signed to DDG's company. Riley is stating that things started to change when the boyfriend came into the picture because DDG actually still had feelings. Even though he's saying that they're friends, he actually had feelings and liked her. And when the boyfriend came into the picture, it made it seem like it was awkward and he didn't want to work with her and he didn't want to promote her videos. And I can see that happening. She's probably gonna call bullshit. A lot of people saying that that's bullshit. 
Why? Why are you guys saying that? Is my question. Do you have any evidence or proof saying that he did not have something for her? Not necessarily feelings, but attraction. You know, when a guy is single, he wants to mess around. And if not that, well, fuck it. Like, y your presence is good enough. Your attention is good enough. I'm not saying that he has something for her. I'm not saying that he doesn't. But the facts are there. Ever since this girl started putting her boyfriend on her videos, things were changing when it came to DDG. All of a sudden, DDG wasn't promoting her videos. There, what is the reason behind that? Why did he stop? Was it because he was jealous? Or was it because he didn't like the route she was going business-wise by putting her boyfriend on her channel? Because then it ends up being a couple's channel, right? So either or, we don't know. So who's to, who's to say that he didn't have feelings for her? We don't know that. Guys with money, power, feel like if they can help you professionally, then you gotta give me something in return. This is not unheard of, you guys, especially in California, especially in Hollywood. What mood? And when she was saying that, she kept saying, oh, maybe it wasn't that way, but it seemed that way. No. It doesn't matter what the outside world thinks. A person knows when someone has a crush on them. A person knows. If it didn't feel that way, it isn't that way. Let's not try to make shit up, okay? Because nobody is believing that. If DDG... Don't say, don't say nobody. Didn't want to be bothered with you and he felt so butthurt about the situation, he would have never even worked with you at all. He would have never even signed a contract, got into anything if he believed that he couldn't separate business from personal. What I personally think is the problem is your brother. Your brother is making too much demands in this situation. Throughout the whole video, he has so much to say about this situation that I tend to forget who <laughs> did DDG sign. Uh, did he sign you or did he sign the brother? Because the brother like he should have been so involved in this like oh we were supposed to do this follow-up video and we didn't do the follow-up video so things didn't work out it's like bro at first yeah she was the only person signed to the company so he was able to put all of his energy into her but if she really think about it the reason why ddg was about her brother yeah i think he's putting a little bit too much of his opinion in there but he's being a brother <laughs> okay he's being protective He's trying to defend his sister because he feels that his sister's being wronged and being accused of being such a bad person and being ungrateful. Stepping back from the situation is because he was trying to get people to see Riley can do this on her own. If you keep having DDG in the video, people are going to continuously look for DDG. And this is why DDG was suggesting to her, which he said in his video, how about you do videos with your brother, your family, your boyfriend, and all of these people so they can get familiar with these people and they can get familiar with you with these people which is great and dandy but you can't stop promoting because from what Riley says and we don't know because we need to see the contract show the contract everybody what Riley is saying is that he's supposed to help promote her apparently that was the deal and he went he fell back on it he responded to her video he said this girl that lost her mind she sure did she fumbled the bag hella I'm so disappointed and I'm on demon time, give me 30 minutes. This somebody said, please don't respond, bruh. It's literally not even worth it. Just show you're the bigger person and move on and wish her the best. That's gross. DDG responded, nah, this shit different. I hope that girl in so many ways, it don't make no sense. I'm honestly shocked. We all shocked. That's why you don't even need to respond because we already know the truth. We already know what she's saying in that video is and this is why I said, I said it in the previous video, I said when money is involved and people see all of their money and they see how much money they made and then the fact that they have to give you 20% of their money, they're gonna feel some type of way. And That's why a lot of these up and coming YouTubers are making the mistake of feeling the need to hire a manager or having to sign under an agency. Y'all don't have to do that. Yes, you will grow faster, but you're gonna get fucked at the end. All the hard work you put in, you're gonna give you're gonna have to give them a percentage. So imagine doing all the work, the the ideas, the filming, the editing, the thumbnail, and then having to give your manager or your agency a percentage of that. That would suck, right? And so I can understand why all these YouTubers get pissed off at the end of it. But who told you to sign to them? You decided to do that. So it's shitty, but Riley, what did you expect? What did you expect? And T even said it. Hi, my name is T. She was featured in Riley's video and she even said it. She said, I felt like this was a pimp situation. And this is why, uh, 
Oh, God. What is those companies? I can't think of the name of the company. Y'all comment down below what I'm talking about. But you know those companies that YouTubers sign to and they promise them, oh, within a couple Stupid. of months, you're going to get 100,000 views and we're going to help you do this and we're going to help you do that. That's why those companies are no longer around because they realize that, one, you can't do it for everybody. It's going to be some people that's going to win and it's going to be some people that need too much help to win. That's a lot of work. And that's why those companies slowly faded away because they realized that they could not do it. I forgot what they told. It's, it's irking me that I can't think of the name of these people. But leave comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Until next time, peace. DDG, boy, you are too busy to be hiring all these talents and looking out for them and promoting them. And it's too much. Do do you. You know what I'm saying? I get what you're trying to do. I know you're trying to like expand, expand your business to different ventures. But this might not be it for you. Especially in the way that you're handling things when things don't go the way you want it to go. Putting this out there like that is very unprofessional. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the second video. And this one is called DDG Exposed Riley. Riley side dude comes forward with receipts. Now before we move on to this video, I wanna say this. I think it's very sad, very unfortunate that all these videos from DDG's team are coming out against Riley. It's a form of bullying. Boy, you can fight this on your own. You already have the power to do that. Why get your whole group to put videos out all at the same time talking shit about her? Does that make you big and bad? Does that make you bigger? Does that make you better? Does that make you more powerful? Now you're taking this whole business thing personal and you're not supposed to mix the two. Now mind you, DDG is the one that posted the video first. Riley was not gonna say a single thing, but Riley has the right to defend herself. So of course she's gonna come out with the video. You're not gonna just tarnish my name like that. And because of that, he's even more, he feels even more disrespected, more butthurt. So he's gonna have his whole clan, his cousin, his whole team come up with all these videos talking shit. It's just sad, it's just sad the way he's handling it. He's, he's being a little boy at this point. And it's crazy because he has an old soul, but he's being a little boy right now. Come on, get your shit together, be professional. All right, so let's go ahead and watch this video. Yesterday I posted up a video about Riley claiming everything changed between her and DDG when her boyfriend came into the picture. She was basically insinuating that DDG was mad that her boyfriend came into the picture because DDG quote unquote like her. Which everyone knew that was BS. DDG and some of- Stop saying everyone, girl. Not everyone. There's no proof of ne There's no proof of either or. His Zooted members reacted to the drama. I'm gonna link all the videos down below. Make sure you check those out. But in a DDG video, he explained that he never liked Riley at all. It was business from the beginning. Once she signed the contract, he bought her a camera, he gave her a laptop, and everything was going good. But her downfall was when she went on vacation for 10 days to go see her now boyfriend. Her views started to drop and she blamed DDG for it. Now, speaking of her video, she claimed that she edited all of her videos on her own. But her real editor came forward yesterday and revealed that he was the one really editing the videos and he has yet to be paid by Riley. Riley agreed that she was gonna pay him $100 per video and he has yet to get paid. And she claimed the hurts too much that she really didn't receive a payment. But DDG exposed yesterday her- The first month of me and you working, you made over $23,000. The second month, you made over $16,000. Fumble. Fumble. When we stopped working, you made $4,000. Fumble. In that month. Then you made 3000 So why is it that you wasn't able to pay this man not one payment? You was receiving more than enough money to pay this man. Especially if you had 20 plus videos and all you had to do was pay him 100 per video. You had more than enough to pay him the 100. Which he realized that he was being played because she sat up there and said that she didn't have enough money to pay him. Now, the reason why I think he wasn't really tripping off the money so hard because... Listen. I don't know if this is true. Like I said, there are no receipts. So I want to see, I'm pretty sure there's messages between the two, but I don't know if he got paid or not, but we're going to find out. Either way, why would you keep editing her videos if you're not getting a single dollar? Why would you keep editing? Does that make sense to you? Let's continue to watch. Because according to him, he said that him and Riley were flirting in the DMs. He said that him and Riley had something going. And I'm guessing that he thought that he was going to be her YouTube boyfriend. So I guess that's why he wasn't tripping too much about the situation. But he was just as shocked as everybody else when this guy came into the picture that Where's he the didn't know about. Because he thought that him and Riley had something going on. Now this is all according to him. Make sure you check out that video because he has receipts. He's showing DMs and everything else. The video is linked down below. Make sure you go check that out. And until next time. Peace. So he obviously shows receipts of text messages between the two. I'm pretty sure they're flirting in it. 
That don't mean shit. That don't mean shit. If that was the case where she wasn't paying you for your editing, a lot of women do this. A lot of women give these men the attention they want, they flirt with them a little bit to get the things that they need. It's true, it's a fact. Some women do that. And maybe she did this to get free edits. Who knows? I don't know that. But that's still your fault if you haven't gotten paid and you're still choosing to edit her videos. That's on you. There is no contract. If there is no contract, there is no obligation. Period, point blank. I just don't like how DDG is handling the situation. I feel like he could be more professional with this. And Riley, you know, I never really liked your channel anyways. I tried to give you a chance. I thought you were boring. I'm sorry. I, I thought you were. I don't know. I still think you are. But keep doing your thing. Do not let this affect you negatively. I know there's a lot of videos out there being put out against you and shitting on you. But do not let that bring you down. Keep filming. Keep editing. Keep putting videos out there. Don't let that stop you. All right, you guys, tell me what you think. Comment below and let me know whose side you're on. Is it DDG's or is it Riley's? You can have a different opinion than mine. I'm all down for hearing everyone's opinions. All right, you guys. And I, you know, and quite honestly, I don't care if I get more dislikes than likes in this video. I really don't care. It's happened before. When I did a video against David Dobrik, okay? I had a lot more dislikes and a lot of negative comments on that video. And I don't care. I don't care. So if that happens, I'm okay with it. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.